Veronica Castro, pronounced Spanish pronunciation, Bionica Castro, full name Veronica Judith Sainz Castro Alba, born the 19th of October 1952, is a Mexican actress, singer, producer, former model and presenter. She is the mother of singer Christian Castro and filmmaker Michelle Castro. She started her career as a television actress, where she met comedian Manuel Valdez, father of her son Christian Castro, and in photonovelas and telenovelas while earning her degree in international relations. <laughs> <laughs> Acting and music career Castro recorded her first album in 1973, a self-titled album Veronica Castro, and then releasing three hit singles from her next album, Sensaciones. These were, Mi Pequeno Cyclon, Soy Solosa, and Yo Quisiera Senor Lacuta. The following year, she recorded another hit record with, Aprendi a Laura. And famed Mexican producer, composer, and singer Juan Gabriel penned the hit single, Adios, for her. After appearing in a series of films and telenovelas, El Edificio de Enfront in 1972 and Barada de Primavera in 1975, among others, her career took off with the telenovela Los Ricos Tambien Lauren, playing a poor orphan, with Rogelio Guerra and Rocio Banquels. This telenovela became a success in Latin America, Spain, Ukraine, Croatia, Italy, France, Israel, Russia, China, Germany and the Philippines. The success of this story brought her newfound fame with her single, Aprendi a Laura. The following hit was, San Francisco de Assis. Two years later she played the main role in the telenovela version of El Derecho de Nasa. Because of her expanding fame as a world artist, she started recording her music in different languages and began to tour the world and perform in diverse venues. She also started recording in Italian, English, Portuguese, and Japanese. In 1986, she performed in the Latin version of We Are the World. She also released one of her most ambitious albums to date, Simplemente Todo. The top selling singles from Simplemente Todo were Oye 2, the title selection, Nunca Lo Sabra, and Macumba. Unlike other artists of the time, however, Castro accompanied her singles with videos, becoming one of the pioneers of the MTV age in Latin America. Even as she recorded the music video, Macumba, she worked in telenovelas in Argentina and Italy. In 1987, her career was boosted internationally when she played the main character in Rosa Salvage, alongside Guillermo Capitio and Laura Zapata. The theme song for that telenovela, also named, Rosa Salvage, became one of her biggest hits. As her CD, Reina de la Noche, topped the charts and her soap opera became one of the world's best selling stories to date, she released another number one single. Mala Noche No. In 1990, Castro participated in Mi Pequena Soledad alongside Omar Fierro and July Furlong, where she had to play both a 40 year old victim of rape who became pregnant and later was paralyzed in a car crash, and her 20 year old daughter, the Soledad of the title, who was the product of the rape. Castro recorded the hit song, Mi Pequena Soledad. The ballad opened new markets and became her theme song. In the same year, she commenced to host the television series, La Movida, which was sung also in Italian and English. After the success of the single a maxi single and 12 inches mix were leaked to radio and clubs. In 1993, she starred in the unsuccessful telenovela Valentina with Juan Ferrara and Celia Cruz. In 1997 Castro re-emerged successfully with a new CD and a new television show. The CD was produced by A.B. Quintanilla, famed for his production of all the recordings of his sister Selena. In that year, Castro also filmed the most controversial music video in her career, Pena de Ama y Merte, 
The video included some nudity, and the song was featured on the soundtrack of the telenovela Pueblo Chico, Inferno Grand. The storyline, from the early 19th century, was based on a real-life drama, the story of Leonardo Ruin. Other cast members were Juan Sola and Alma Delfina. She incorporated regional Mexican music, rancheras, pop, dance techno, country and hip-hop beats. In 1999 Castro recorded her last pop CD, Avenue Vagabundo, by famed composer and producer Ana Gabriel. She included several dance mixes of her hit singles, Sacudelo and Zumbalo. Castro toured various countries in support of this CD, whose biggest successes included Argentina, Italy, and the United States. During the 1990s, she began hosting variety shows, and has continued to do so since. Her son, Christian, is a teen idol singer across Latin America and the United States. She and Christian's father, Manuel Valdez, have never married. Castro's private life has become fodder for paparazzi photographers and gossip magazines. In 2006, she recorded Por Esa Puerta. For the first time, it was released only in Mexico, becoming a bestseller internationally. It was only available through the Internet and importation of the CD. When the CD arrived in the United States, it became the most sought-after CD in her career. Castro has performed several musical genres, from pop, rock, Mexican regional country music rancheras, boleros, and banda, norteno to Spanish, Portuguese, English, and Italian songs. In 2008 Veronica Castro returned to the stage with Chiquita Pero Picosa, a remake of a production in which she had appeared in the 1980s. She also filmed an episode of Mujeres de Cisinas, in which she played a killer. The episode was critically acclaimed. In 2009, Veronica Castro went back to telenovelas and left her native Mexico for Argentina to film the telenovela Los Exitosos Perez. It premiered in Mexico on August 30, 2009. For her work in television, theater, movies and in the recording industry, Castro's handprints are embedded at the Paseo de las Luminarias in Mexico City. In 2016, Veronica Castro returns to center stage with the all-time Broadway classic, Applause, inspired on the film, All About Eve. This production was presented for the first time in Mexico by Fela Fabregas at Teatro San Rafael. Veronica played Margot Channing in Applauso. In 2017 she was cast as the matronly Virginia de la Mora in Netflix's The House of Flowers, a Mexican comedy-drama series. It premiered on Netflix in August, 2018. Topic. Stage credits Topic. Albums Topic. Films Topic. Telenovelas Topic TV shows Topic Dubbing Topic Sources Official website Veronica Castro one Official fan mail, Corio de Fans Veronica Castro 1707 Post Oak Boulevard. Number 261, Houston, Texas USA 77056